Hi there. I'd like to show you a little bit about how to cross country ski. My name is Jeff Potter and I run OutdoorBackdoor.com, a website for independent outdoor culture. It's got about over a thousand articles, all free, about all aspects of independent outdoor culture. A lot of them cover cross country skiing. There's a lot of stories about skiing too. Not so much how to stuff, the cultural side. But there's a time and place for how to, and that's right now. I'll show you a couple quick, easy drills on doing that. First one is do that for a while. Swing your arms and bounce your knees. Swing them long, swing them all the way front and back. That's kind of how skiing is. You, your skis will grip when you bend down and press. The next drill is, uh, is a step forward drill. Actually, you should do that easiest without your skis, so you do that maybe first. But a step forward drill teaches you how to get your weight forward and transition forward. At least I do that. But let's do this a few times. Step forward and then catch yourself. Step forward and catch yourself. And try to get so that you can do it in a relaxed way. Do that ten times on each leg. Forward, hip, catch. Let that rear leg float up a little bit. Dipping forward, catch. Skiing and running are basically you're falling forward all the time and catching yourself on your feet. But we want to do it in, in a balanced way. Now, I'll put this piece back on. And in order to get it to grip, you have to put your weight on it, all your weight on each ski in order to have each side grip. But you know what? Cross country skiing isn't unique in this way. All skis are made to work when you put all your weight on them. That's how downhill skis turn. Uh, cross country skating skis work that way too. When you put your weight on them, you can skate off them. Um, ice skates work that way also. In order to skate, you have to put your weight on one foot and push off onto the other. Regular cross-country skiing works the same way. We're here at lovely North, North Park Lake Lansing in Hazlitt, Michigan. Uh, um, now that you've done a couple warm-up drills, we're going to do yet another one. And that's skiing without poles. Skiing without poles, even Olympians do it to warm up. So you just practice, swing your arms, and press down the heel You use that bounce I was telling you about. And you swing your arms big, forward and back. Swing your arms, kick, swing. Try to get down low too. It's the best way to teach yourself how to ski. Want to know why skiing is fun? Because you're gliding. Probably the only reason, really. The weight transfer from one foot to the other lets you glide. Lets you get a grip and lets you go. If you do a 100% weight transfer, it'll be easy to balance. It'll be easy to kick and easy to glide. If you waddle and go in between, you'll slip and you'll fall. You'll, everything will go wrong. Um, now I'll add the poles. Proper stance in all skiing, skating, classic, and downhill, is the standard athletic stance. Forward and ready. Bend at your ankles, drop a little bit, there you are. You can do mobile skiing this way, ski skating, ice skating, and classic skiing. 
I'll use the same basic sand. Um, when you use a ski pole, you put you always plant it near your feet, not out at the sides, and you plant it tipping forward so that when you press on it, it pushes backward and you glide. But the coolest thing about cross country is when you get to glide up a hill. And it seems like you're getting back more than you're putting in. That's what happens when you do it right. That's why people like doing it. It's not what you would call work. And it does work. But another great thing about cross country skiing is that anywhere there's snow, you can do it. And it's pretty cheap to do. Even new, new equipment is quite affordable, and used equipment is easy to found. And basically all equipment, when it fits you, works just fine. This is 30-year-old equipment, but it works fine. When the terrain is um, flat or slightly downhill, you may want a double pole. And you might be going too fast to kick. Lean forward. Stand up straight, lean forward, plant your poles, bend arms, and let your weight fall onto them. You don't, when you plant your poles like this, and you push, you're not doing anything except causing yourself stress. You fall forward on your poles, plant them at an angle, compress down with your stomach, and just kind of let yourself drop onto the poles, and then you push all the way through with your hands. That's how you double pull, all the way through. Another cool move that you want to use just for fun and for maybe slight uphills is the kick double pull. That's where you come through with your hands and you give a kick and then, and then do a double pull. That lets you put your weight out further onto the poles, lets you do some work with your legs, and lets you get a nice strong double pull in. Kick double pull. Okay, now to show you the uphill, which involves the gliding, kicking and gliding, and the steep uphills, which uh, uses the herringbone. But it all works the same. So you know, skiing is simpler than people make it out to be. Just watch.